Hey guys, welcome to a brand new career mode save here on the Facebook page. We'll be doing this three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And then my play will continue on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So do make sure you're following the Facebook page if you're watching this first episode. Which is actually going to go live on YouTube as well. And there's a link in the description down below. This save, as well as the my play save that has been ongoing uh, throughout the course of the year so far, is exclusive to Facebook. So do please come across. The opportunity with the Facebook content is to do teams that we don't normally get the opportunity to do on YouTube for a number of different reasons and we start with one of the biggest sides outside of the top five European leagues it's Ajax in the Netherlands you'll have to forgive me for some pronunciations throughout the course of this uh, series but I shall try my best to get as many of them correct as I possibly can with the course of this save we're going to try and put the impetus on the youth and try and reflect the way that Ajax work in real life of course Den Haag is on his way to Manchester United, it seems, in the summer. So the club is going to be in need of some new direction. Here's your new direction. His name's Chez. So hopefully we can try and earn this side some European glory again for the first time in quite a while. Very, very close to a Champions League final a couple of years ago if it weren't for a certain Lucas Moura and Tottenham Hotspur. So uh, hopefully we can have a really fun time here at Ajax and we'll be able to put together a really good series that you guys will thoroughly enjoy. First thing off the bat to, uh, to talk about is the Youth Academy because of course you do get a future star, a homegrown talent uh, at the beginning of each new save if you bought a certain variation of the of the FIFA game at launch or whenever you bought it and my homegrown talent is Benjamin Peters he's a striker I'm training him at left wing though you can see that already he's pretty quick so he's going to suit being out wide especially considering his crossing is actually quite high dribbling and ball control are decent as well curve is quite high too finishing's only 64 so I'm going to move him out wide and we'll use him as a wing and perhaps he could be my Dusan Tadic replacement on the left hand side of the front three we do by default start here at Ajax with a front three and I'll continue to play with the same formation that they have in game to start with to see how we get on and then maybe we'll tweak things as we move further through the save I've disabled the first transfer window so I can get a feel of how the squad plays and who's good who's not before we reach uh, our first transfer window. We do have some money to spend when we get there, however. Uh, about £30 million ish. Probably by the time we get there with some pre season tournament prize money added in. I have spent some money, as you'll have seen there already, though. £3.48 million. I bought Scout and sent. The Scout was already here. Julian Grun and Nathan Kirkler came in as well. Looking for physically strong players in Belgium and attacking players here in the Netherlands. If you think there's anywhere else I should look and a certain style of player I should look for, then let me know in the comments and I will add another scout, spend some more money and we'll look for other youth players elsewhere. Of course, uh, there is the history of some... Uh, South American talent in Ajax as well. Obviously, Zlatan Ibrahimovic from Sweden as well. So elsewhere in Europe and elsewhere on the planet, uh, there is the history of some uh, some good players coming through. Obviously, like Tagliafico here currently in the starting lineup, an Argentinian. You've got Anthony, the uh, Brazilian, and then uh, Masrawi's. Uh, is he Moroccan? He is Moroccan. So there's plenty of and obviously Onano, uh, the Cameroonian. So there's plenty of uh, influence throughout the squad from outside of the Netherlands and I'd like to try and keep that up if we can do let me know what you think I should do uh, throughout the course of this save in the comment section and I will try and do your bidding this is as ever as much your save as it is my save so we'll work our way through the preseason tournament it probably won't show you much of that we'll sim most of it try and get ourselves as much money as possible and then we'll start the league season of course with it not being uh, an opening transfer window we should be able to move quite quickly through that and then we'll push forward as we usually do in the YouTube format with an episode or month per episode sorry I'll probably look to play to sim the rest for any given month and uh, we'll do it slightly differently here on Facebook than we do over on YouTube just to ensure that we can progress through the save at a decent rate obviously um, only three episodes a week rather than the usual seven on the youtube channel so we want to make sure that we progress at a decent rate so you guys don't uh, lose interest and kind of feel like the series is going nowhere so we will start by just simming our way through the pre-season tournament as we say there's about three odd million pounds available to us decent first win by five goals to one i'm not planning on changing the current starting lineup as you see it yet i do have some uh, of the players 
added to the loan list and the transfer list uh, since I started the save. I will show you those here. So you can see that Stecklenburg, Pasvir, Titan or Teton uh, and Kleber are on the transfer list now. And then Danilo, Dharami, Bas, Regia and uh, Ax Van Axel, Dongren, sorry, are all on the loan list. Obviously, that's not going to happen until at least January because we've uh, disabled the first transfer window. But we'll get an idea of how this team plays throughout the course of the first six months of the save. And then we'll know what direction we need to go in in a transfer window. So it makes sense to do it this way, I think. And obviously... Uh, will be playing with the team that is available to Ajax in real life. So, again, makes it uh, more realistic in that sense rather than adding new players to the squad earlier than uh, the team would have had the opportunity to IRL. So, we're going to get a win here. We are. We beat Atletico Mineiro by two goals to one. So, we're presumably through to the knockout stages this preseason tournament, which indeed we are, although it's Juventus we have next. And that's not quite so straightforward. So, we'll power through this one. Probably go out. Oh, we do, but only on penalties. Of course, they have a former Ajax man in Matthias De Ligt in their starting line at Juventus. They'll go on and play Spurs in the final. And, uh, well, not really that bothered about who wins that. So, let's see what we get. Oh, we've got some position change for uh, Nicolas Carrillo. I changed him to a cam just to see what would happen to his overall. Mm, still probably not going to be that good. And Benjamin Peters has changed now. He's a 71 rated left winger. That was a very good decision to make that change, don't you think? He's already started with a five-star weak foot as well, which is absolutely spectacular. So I'm going to train his shooting stats first. Then when he's done that, we'll start to train his passing stats too. Or maybe because his passing's worse than his shooting. I should probably train his passing stats first. Let's do it that way. Let me know uh, in the comment section how you think he's going to get on throughout the course of his time here. We've got Tagliafico being suspended for a game. I'm going to advance now towards the first games of the uh, league season with NEC first, but then it'll be probably FC20 that we play in the first game of the season today. And then moving forward, we'll, uh, we'll play some more tomorrow. Not tomorrow in Thursday's episode. So I'll see you in a moment and I'll actually pause when we get those first scout reports back from the Netherlands and Belgium as well. Only one player per youth scout worth anything really. Jimmy Jacobs, uh, a Dutch either centre mid, cam or right mid, currently six foot two, valued £425,000. We'll give him another month to wait and see what his actual position is before we commit. And then there's uh, Justin De Smet. Uh, at or from Belgium, 69 to 94 potential, but his current rating is only 33 to 45. So he's probably not going to be that good at the minute, but maybe a position change could help. We'll wait and see where his potential windows narrow down to next month before we make any decisions there. I have accepted a transfer bid for uh, a player as well. I'll show you the transfer offer that came in via the hub. Uh, received offers, it was for Sean Kleiber from Hoffenheim for 2.7 million. I've just accepted that straight off the bat, and hopefully that'll be an, a move that is agreed in the not too distant future. We're very nearly at the game against NEC, so, uh, well, let's go there now. Had a loan bid coming from Newcastle for Mohamed Darami, and I'd be quite happy to accept that, but I will delegate it to try and get it just a short term loan. Of course, this will only go through in January when it happens and Kleber has now been confirmed as sold to Hoffenheim so he has gone I did have an if uh, an ifer I had an offer for Tagliafico and uh, from Leverkusen 24.9 ish million pounds but I turned that down so we will sim this first game uh, and it should be a pretty straightforward victory for us you would have thought and indeed it is Anthony Sebastian Allaire and uh, Havenberg getting the goals to give us a 3-1 win against NEC. So the first game we'll play is against FC20 and hopefully we can get ourselves victory there as well. First played game then FC20 away. They have Lars Unnerstall in goal in a 4-2-3-1 with a very high 4 up, up top. Uh, they have uh, Giovanni Truppe on the right. Kick Pieri at centre back alongside Robin Purpa and then uh, Jesse or Yessa Bosch. Uh, left back, again, please help me with pronunciations in the comment section. Rami Zaruki uh, in the midfield alongside Michael Sadilak. And they've got Michel, Michel uh, Vlap at camp with Dimitris Limnios on the right. 
with Virgil Missidian on the left and Manfred Ugalde up top for them. My lineup is as you perhaps might expect it to be. If Ajax fans, if there's anyone that should be in the starting lineup that isn't, then do let me know. Or if you think I should move players about a little bit, then do let me know. If you think perhaps uh, Berghaus should be out wide and Dusan Tadic should be more central, then that's something obviously that I'll, I'll look into doing. Sebastian Aller leads the line for us, so Dusan Tadic on the left and Anthony on the right. Berghaus, Hovenberg and uh, Alvarez in the midfield three with Tagliafico, Martinez, Urien Timber, Masrawi and Onana in goal. Onana is set to leave at, uh, Ajax this coming summer in real life, I believe. Uh, if that is the case, or you guys can confirm that's the case, then we may look to sell Onana in the uh, changeover between season one and season two and uh, look to, to replicate any real life moves that Ajax do in this save. Right, FC20 away from home. After a win on match day one, let's go for a win on match day two. And for those of you that might wonder what the sliders that we use are, we're playing on ultimate and the sliders are, as you see, for the CPU, 53 shot error, 40 pass error. And I believe that is all other than first touch control error. For me, it's everything is default other than goalkeeper ability is up to 57. Then the only changes we make this year, we had to slightly alter my usual sliders uh, for FIFA 22 as the gameplay was completely different with uh, the new engine or new animations etc but if you ever want to know them and forget in what video they were in then if you go to my twitch channel link in the description then you will be able to uh, type exclamation mark sliders into chat and nightbot will tell you what my sliders are that's the best and uh, easiest way to go about doing doing so but for now let's see what we can do in this first game oops first game against fc20 but at the minute I can't seem to build anything, so I keep giving possession away. <laughs> Havenberg out to Tagliafico. Dusan Tadic is obviously extremely talented, but not very quick is an issue. Havenberg played that towards Sebastian Aller, and he decided he didn't want to go after it. Come on, Sebastian. That's better. Pull this back here to Alvarez, not known for his goal scoring. And a shot well blocked by Piri. Driven back to Piri. Nicely played around. Ugalde has the option here of Limnios. Held up well, but Tagliafico stops him from building much. Berghaus to Hovenberg. And Dusan Tadic was on the run, but Hovenberg's pass was not that great, to say the least. Urien Timber, though, is in the way. He's going to be an important defender for us in this first season, you would imagine. Urien Timber is Sebastian Alla with runners around him. We do have a lack of pace in two of the three forward positions, but... Spashanala is very good at finishing and Dusan Tadic is very creative. So certainly there will still be opportunities for the front line, even if we're not necessarily racing away from anyone when getting in behind. Dusan Tadic inside to Berghaus, to Tadic again and Alaire, but his touch lets him down, unfortunately. And we won't yet have one proper clear-cut chance to take the lead. Ajax plays some scintillating stuff, IRL. But I haven't yet been able to put together a move that matches the way that they play in real life. I would love to try and play the Ajax way if we can. And play some really, really good free-flowing attacking football. It's going to take perhaps a couple of episodes just to get the feel of the squad. And see who plays well and how to play with any individual player. But certainly, I hope to get off to a winning start regardless of that. Nimnios will get away from me here, but Mazraoui should be underneath this end as well. Anthony should be underneath this. He was, but it was the FC20 man that got to it. Into the middle here to Vlap and Ugalde, and it's 1-0 to our hosts. Their first chance of the game, and the first goal of it too. We trail 10 minutes before half-time. Free kick in a decent position here. Berghaus is on it. I may try, may change to uh, to put Dusan Tadic on it, actually, and try and whip this towards where Sebastian Aller is. He's our number 22, as you can see him in the middle there, and we'll whip slash float it, and it is floated towards him. And that is how you execute a set-piece routine. 
Ajax won! FC 21, which is how this fixture ended in real life, actually, earlier on in the given season. Dusan Tadic with the float, Sebastian Aller with the lofty header, and we're level. I, but I'll be honest, didn't expect it to go as well as that, but I planned out what I wanted to do and executed it. We are level here. Sebastian Aller has his first goal of the season, in a played game at least. And we are off the mark in the played games too. After the win against NEC, we hope to add to that another set of three points and beat what Ajax did IRL. They beat NEC by five goals to nil in real life. And we obviously weren't able to do that in our simulated game despite getting a relatively comfortable, solid victory. So if the real life Ajax team went one better than me in that game, I'd like to go one better than them in this. Looks like it's going to be 1-1 at the break. Unless, of course, FC20 do something from this set piece. Onana made a good save there. And Yuri and Timber head that away. And that should be. And ultimately will be referee. Half time, he says. Half time. Forward from fullback. Havenberg will find Alvarez. And Anthony's made a great run. And on his right... Draws a block from the defender. Masraoui is forward, however, and there is still support here. Alvarez, Berghaus. Can I get that to Tadic, maybe? Or use the left-back first. Tagliafico will find Tadic. And then there's Anthony, tucked in from the far side. A sharp turn, but a good interception from the defender. Not yet seen the best of Anthony in this game, but I'm sure we will throughout the course of the season. There is anyone you feel should be involved in the squad that isn't yet? Then do let me know in the comment section. And if there's anyone that you think we should be looking to buy in January then let me know if there's anyone you think we should be looking to sell in January then do let me know and we can build a transfer plan prior to actually getting there Berghaus try and squeeze this through to Waller again but I can't quite pull the trigger before the defender puts his foot in and we can't quite get there here's Van Volswingel on for uh, their goal scorer Ugalde Masro is under pressure here but he's burst away well but can't find the space to find the pass that I needed to get rid of that. And that's well worked from FC20. Flap back there to Bosch again. Who's been actually quite a pain to deal with. On the left hand side of their front play. Sadly has options here. Van Volspickel finds Flap. Urien Timbers in the way twice. And Onana should jump and claim that. And does indeed and wins the foul. Well FC20 are looking to try and win this. They're not giving up. They had... Minimal chances in the first half, but were able to get themselves that 1-0 lead. So we know they can convert, despite not having a massive amount of opportunity to do so. Kudus has come off the bench here for me for uh, Berghaus. And Anthony, we'll get the ball down the line. We'll try and work it back to Masri. Can I dig a cross out? We can. It's a decent one, but Kravenberg can't get to it, unfortunately. So for now, we'll stay at 1-1. Free kick for FC20 now. Not quite the same position as us. But they have had the same outcome. The ball flicked on at the near post. The defender couldn't get to it. And questions will be asked about Andre Anana there. I think it was Yuri and Timber at the near post with their man. Runs with him. Can't get to it. And well, Anana's got to save that for me. I don't know about what you guys think of it. But he's got enough time to react there. And it's straight at him. And he's ducked underneath it and then tried to push it over the bar. And just quite frankly, gotten it wrong. Mistimed it. And it's into the back of the net. Hmm. Uh, well, maybe we, maybe it's good that we're going to probably be selling Andre and Anna at the end of this first season. That was very, very questionable from him. Anthony causing them all sorts of problems. Leaving defenders on the floor in his wake. Try to get me involved again here. Get that to Dusan Tadic. He will stand it up looking for Ale who can't quite get to it. And Prepa will slice his clearance. Anthony wins the header. And Ale, Kudus, Anthony, tight angle. Oh, should their keeper have done better this time? Off the underside of the bar. What are the away fans saying? He says, it's 2-2. Two -two. I was trying to go across goal low to the far bottom corner. He's thumped it. Arrowed it off the underside of the bar into the back of the net. It was a draw, as we mentioned in real life, this game. But 1-1. And, well, to be fair, it's probably just pure shot power on this occasion. That's the reason why the keeper hasn't been able to react. 
catching him completely off guard. Might even have grazed his nose on the way up. Off the bar and just over the line from Anthony. That gives us a second goal of the game and his second goal of the season. And hopefully our second undefeated game at the beginning of this season. Was hoping to match at least what Ajax are doing in real life in this save. And at the minute everything is going according to plan. It will be harder to match what they did in the Champions League in this save. Especially on Ultimate. But that's part of the challenge. That's part of the challenge. Especially with Borussia Dortmund in our group. Martinez into Havenberg. Can we go one better than Ajax IRL? Can we get the winner in this second game of the domestic season? Dusan Tadic stands it up. Havenberg, he's there. He does head it. Anthony, was he onside? That's the question. The answer is yes! Anthony gets a second. We'll win our first played game and go back-to-back -back victories for the start of the season. I'd like to see a replay to see how tight that offside was. Anthony, the star of the show, it seems, here late on. Cross comes in and oh, it's the man that travelled with Dusan Tadic on that far side that played the Brazilian on. And it's just a simple left-footed side foot volley into the back of the net. We're going to win! Anthony's third goal of the opening two games and with the last kick of it, we get victory away from home. That'll do very nicely indeed if that hasn't earned your guys uh, follow here on the Facebook page or uh, a like on the video then I highly doubt anything else would have done. We've got Vitesse in our next game which we'll obviously head towards next and simulate and I'll see you there in a moment. Unfortunately one of those two players we were waiting for another month for Justin DeSmet has gone to uh, Red Bull Salzburg so unfortunately uh, we won't be able to sign him. I'm tempted to keep him on my shortlist just to see what happens with him. You'll have to let me know whether to call up Benjamin Peters as well. You can see 83 to 94, his potential now, continuing to grow very well indeed. And hopefully he will do so throughout the majority of this save. And I dare say he might become one of the stars of this save. Dharami is going to go out on loan to Newcastle in January for the rest of the season. We have a number of players involved in the international break. You can see that financially we've gained some extra money now as well. And hopefully we'll be able to get victory here against Vitesse at home. And maintain the unbeaten run. Indeed we do. And the winning run too. So three wins from three from the save so far in the league at least. RZ Altmar are also with a 100% record. Feyenoord are unbeaten so far, as are Utrecht. They're the only other two that are unbeaten. And uh, PSV there with the two wins, but that one defeat that sees them currently sat in third. Well, you know what the aim is. The aim is championship in the Eredivisie. Uh, we'll try and win the, uh, the cup competition as well. And if we can do that, we'll be absolutely thrilled. Our Champions League group is as follows. Sporting Lisbon at Besiktas and Borussia Dortmund. Hopefully we can win out in that group too. Right, that will be all for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first mini instalment of the Ajax Carimo. Tomorrow we'll probably play both Champions League games, I would have thought. Besiktas and Borussia Dortmund away to try and build... A good start to the European season, as well as a good start to the domestic season that we've done so far. Uh, for now, though, that is going to be all for this opening episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop the video a like. Make sure you're following the Facebook page. Link in the description if you're watching this first episode on YouTube to ensure that you uh, don't miss out on any more of this save. Like I say, link down below and hopefully you'll join me. And the My Player content is continuing as well, so fingers crossed you guys will continue to enjoy that too. The Facebook content allows me the opportunity to use teams that we don't get the chance to use on YouTube for uh, various different reasons, as we mentioned in the intro. So hopefully you'll enjoy this save because, well, I'm already enjoying it after just one episode. I'll see you next time.